tell a hiking story <clears throat> that doesn't involve anti earls. Um, I went up to this uh, place called Tank Lakes. It's in northern Washington, and um, one of the best hikes I've ever been on. When I was up there, um, you're coming up to this uh, this pass, and as you get to the top of it, it just drops away on the other side, and there's little uh, there's these tanks of water uh, scattered about, like. Uh, it's almost like these these pools that were placed in a way that you would get in the water and look out at some of the most rough, amazing, mountainous country you've ever seen in your life. Like sheer cliff walls, uh, thick, thick forests, um, ledges and platforms and plateaus everywhere. And uh, it was the first time in my life I'd ever seen uh, what I think is a hanging valley. Um, I looked uh, across at this mountainside, and it was pretty much sheer down below, but there was a, a crevice, uh, a gigantic crevice, of course, uh, in the side of the mountain that, that penetrated into the mountain, and you could kind of look in there and see that it was like a lush forest back in there. Um, there was a little waterfall coming out of it, uh, and then it, way, way back into the mists, you could see how the granite walls come up around it. So it was like this little teeny paradise uh, that I guess only birds could get to. Uh, but it had, uh, had plants and uh, running water. and In my imagination, it must be one of the most wonderful places in the world to try to get to. Um, the, uh, the ground was of this kind of rough, granity texture that uh, um, made it so you could pretty much run straight up uh, um, really sheer walls. Uh, the uh, I got up one night and um, if you have to urinate in the wild, if you urinate in the ground, animals paw up the earth to get the salt in your urine. Um, so you try you have to urinate on like a rock or a rocky area. Um, and right by my tent, there was actually a rock that was had like a bowl, and so I walked over to it and started urinating. And I, I'm barely like awake. And all of a sudden, something moves right in front of me, and like two feet away from me, drinking my pee as I'm peeing is a mountain goat. You know those kind with the big horns. Um, and to my credit, I continued peeing. Just a couple, just a couple beans out in the woods, peeing and drinking pee. Was, I don't judge. <laughs> oh, and to cap it all off, I mean it was a great. It was, that was a great hike. And uh, a lot of interesting things happened there, but uh, one of the most remarkable was uh, I was hiking with a bunch of guys while we were going to go heading up to the Tank Lakes. And uh, earlier, everybody had discovered in their hiking pants uh, that if you unzip the big zipper down the front, um, the, the hiking pants are designed to kind of billow out so you get airflow through your pants. And uh, so everyone unzipped their pants. I didn't. I, I was wearing uh, tie pants. They don't have zippers. It's just a uh, thin light cloth. And uh, so everyone's coming up to uh, camp for the night. There's this beautiful camp spot, a little peninsula going out into a small lake. Uh, this young lady comes walking up, and you can just tell in the guy's mind that uh, they're like, "Well, there's a chance she might join us. We might have feminine com company around our campfire tonight." Um, and she actually seemed interested. She's like, oh, you're camping right there? That looks like a beautiful spot. And then she suddenly changed her mind and said, oh, well, I think I'm going to go a little bit further tonight uh, and walked off into the descending gloom. And everyone was a little puzzled by that, except for then it was noticed that everyone had their zippers wide open. So there was no chance that young lady was going to camp with us that night. <laughs> All right, hiking story for Hammerchit Steak. Boom!